Well, okay, this time we're uh, looking at the quarter arcade from Nun School. Um, purchased this item uh, a couple of weeks ago and been playing around with it. Uh, nice little uh, generation of arcades, these. I've bought the Gallagher unit. Um, got to do a particular look Gallagher, so uh, really what I wanted to look at it for. That's the current price that uh, Game UK are selling it for. Um, you know, quite a nice, neat little unit, well packaged, nice displayed. A um, bit of an impulse buy this one, I'm you know, not normally do this. Um, it's supposed to be collector's quality quarter scale, um, high quality arcade stick, not sure about that. 100% uh, arcade emulation, fair enough. TFT's 5 inch screen, fair enough. Um, it's a replica shell, um, high quality embedded decals, exact replica of the colour, um, 3 watt built in speaker, on off switch, built in rechargeable battery. LED uh, backlight, USB micro powered, um, comes with obviously a USB lead, so that's what's on it. And there you switch it on the back, volume, power, on off switch, and indicator. Um, this is me just uh, doing a re unboxing just to have, have a just to show trying to the experience of what it was when I first opened it. Um, I have been playing with it, you will notice that by the uh, sticky fingerprints. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Um, Nice little compact, compact unit. Um, there you go. It's a little bit, a little bit sticky there from a couple of weeks of use. But on the front, you've got a, a coin mech, which actually does work, which is a quite nice little feature. You press the button to get your coins inserted when you after you've switched it on. Side decals are quite nice. It'd be nice if it had been completely covered um, in a matte sort of finish to stop those sticky fingerprints. But you know. Fair enough, that's the back of the units, the on off switch and the power is all at the bottom, a couple of grills which are mesh covered. Nice, nice touch, you know, it is very, very like um, the original cab. Um, I do like these little units, how, how much attention to detail they've actually done to mimic the uh, the originals. Um, that's the screen printed front that uh, obviously shows all your little buttons in there, coin neck, so we'll turn it on. Obviously shows the beacon of showing the boot up sequence. It is supposed to be the original ROM and boot up sequence. Um, yeah, there you go. And obviously this mimics the startup of the original. Um, I don't know if you noticed then, but I did. I do have an issue with this unit. Um, I think I just don't, it's not particularly this unit, but it's uh, this particular design. Um, as you can see there, there's a, a speaker grill right above the uh, LCD screen. Um, so I'll get it fired up anyway. Um, there we go, the game starts. So yeah, this is just a still shot, just to sh show exactly where I'm getting a reflection. There's a light reflection coming from the speaker grill. And the comes from the marquee. When the marquee turns on, that reflection instantly appears on the actual screen. It's a real put-off. Um, does make you, you you do tend to focus on it quite a lot, which is a bit of a bugger really, because it does spoil what's going on. As, a, as you can see there, so what I've had to do is um, I tried stripping it down. So this is me opening it up just to have a look inside. There's the rechargeable battery and the volume and on and off controls that leads. There's your front panel there, and that's the actual main system. So it's basically a system on a chip. It's uh, an all runner V3, which is a system on a chip with built in ARM Cortex A7 CPU. Seems to be what I've, what I've looked up, it seems to be primarily to do with DVRs and dash cams, is the main usage of that particular chipset, but obviously they've seen a use for it. I tried removing the um, marquee just to see if I could get any um, access to the grill from the other side unfortunately not it's all been glued and screwed together sort of thing so not a bad construction um, but um, unfortunately it doesn't get, I can't gain access to the other side of the um, speaker grill and this is stopping me from uh, putting any foam the other side and um, this is obviously my finished attempt I've managed to double-sided tape some speaker foam to uh, there it is you can just about see it glued to the uh, double-sided tape to the underside of that uh, speaker grill and that stopped the reflection happening quite nicely so uh, all in all a great little arcade machine um, that I really enjoyed having a play with uh, I'd give it a score because of the speaker problem of about 7 out of 10 now that I've repaired it 
I'd definitely put it up to about an 8 out of 10. So um, that's my score for this unit. So thanks very much for watching this uh, short video, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.